Hi everyone, so I was really impressed by seeing this reactionist uh, comment because usually some reactionists, you know, they benefit and they won't really admit to the truth in order to not jeopardize their own channel and content but like FBRC does and I do and apparently now he does Alex is sure I give him a big credit for this and he gives all the facts and I just want to play it out I'll put his, his clip in the link and please I advise everyone to look at it he says it how it is and uh, it's I hope that soon how, I, how to say like YouTube is helping uh, causing scamming and uh, fraud I believe because he just proves it it is fraud with her with her uh, platforms and charging money for this and this and per then saying sh everyone's getting a souvenir then saying only one person is selected yeah, just follow a bit I'll flip through it but watch the whole clip and give him credit Nanigans that Foodie Beauty has been up to on her community tap. We've seen her try so many different platforms lately, and usually they just crash and burn, including her Patreon, which is still up in the air whether or not she deleted that herself or if Patreon actually stepped in and deleted it if she was banned from Patreon to be been removed so do you guys remember the community tab from last week she was trying to allude that patreon deleted her that people took her down so that she doesn't have to take any responsibility for this it's really convoluted and i think that she thinks that people are stupid but we are not so just hours after she posted that community tab talking about her brand new patreon she posts another community tab now these are all still up Thought I'd let you guys know there's no way to subscribe to her Patreon at this point, but here's what she has to say. Okay, so I've added another tier of memberships. Now this is to YouTube. It's a postcard club tier. $15 a month will get you a souvenir from everywhere we travel bees, plus more exclusive perks I am working on. But for now, the souvenirs and postcards. Okay, keep that in mind. I will be doing away with Patreon most likely for now, and you will be refunded if you signed up already. So I was bitching on my Twitter because I had signed up for her original Patreon and I had never gotten my money back. They actually recharged me on April 3rd and she deleted it very quickly after that. So I'm assuming that some people might have signed up to her newer Patreon. If you have, let me know if you have gotten your refund or not in regards to that situation because she just made a brand new page, expected people to pay for it, and then deleted deleted it very shortly after, which the only reason, just to clarify, that I paid for her Patreon in the first place is because she was removed from YouTube. All these ideas, all these plans, she's stuck inside. I guess she has nothing better to do, but we know how these situations go with Chantal. She might do it once or twice, but then it's just going to crash and burn. She'll rage and then delete everything. Here's what she know that we have seen already from Chantal. I don't understand the logo design here. Why is the so big and then the Beezer show is small? She says she's going to be doing an e-sitcom every Monday, the case of the Mondays, starting April 18th, which is coming up in less than a week. And then Thursdays will be mukbangs with minx at this first giveaway. First Travel Bees giveaway, Cuban coffee, which was actually a free sample that she got in her room, allegedly. The best part of the trip and a fridge magnet. I will also include a personal signed note from myself. Wow. OMG, I'm so excited. I will always pick a random beezer Look, from the pick... list of you from the postcard club but tier. She says everyone gets okay. in. What is she talking about? When you go up to join this membership, it says that you will always receive a souvenir yeah. or a postcard, right? Like, seriously, no, you're supposed to people. get both. 
right? But here in this she has uh, no community content. tab post, she's she said that she will pick and all a random can't person. Believe people she will fall always for it. pick I don't a mind if this goes person. on and for entertainment. So it's basically a giveaway. <laughs> Right? To support You're not financially for them to anything. financially benefit now, from this, it should just be a show Cuba for fun for them and not be monetized. They should not be monetized or benefiting from money. Sending fifteen dollars a month for a chance to win a shitty magnet and coffee is gross. Follow through on what you've already promised people for a change. How about you don't pay the fifteen bucks and you don't get a shitty magnet or a shitty fuck coffee? Off, fuck off! Fuck off! You fucking fucking <laughs> shitty. <laughs> Smug, arrogant, you know ungrateful, you? lazy. Some people want a fucking magnet and coffee. No, actually, it's scamming. Not the From now on, like any bees, you're just gonna like people in that club. I was oh gonna give that to like every single person. Okay, yeah. So, so I'm gonna put the, the links club, and you can watch the whole thing. No. That's not what you said in the explanation of and the perks. Yeah. You don't even have trips planned I hope everybody's out. having you have COVID a good day sake. and. But, yes, yeah, so I mean, your membership, doing well. 15 bucks a month, will pay for a cheap souvenir from wherever I go. And it's going to be somewhere from where I go in the world, so it's still going to be worth it. it oh, come on, the you're not that. Who are you? You're not special. We'll see. Why should it be worth it? And you've traveled two times in your whole entire life. Souvenir. Well, it's from a dollar store from a foreign country. 